what is going on crew so first week of full iron man training you're never gonna make it you're not good enough there's a million other people with the same stuff you really think you're different and you must be kidding think you're gonna hit it but you just don't get it it's impossible it's not probable you're responsible too many obstacles you gotta stop it though you gotta take it slow you can't be a pro no waste your time no welcome more. back to another series of vlogs today is my first day of iron man training well Ironman 70.3. I'm going to be tackling a half Ironman in Weymouth in September. It's currently the start of June, so I've got June, July, August, I don't know, four months. So four months worth of training to get myself there. Um, don't have a bike. I haven't been swimming for ages, um, but my running's okay. Um, also, it's going to be about five times the length of a high rocks. High rocks are roughly one hour. This is going to be at least five hours. If we're anywhere close to five hours, I'm going to be flying. So yeah, training's going to look a little bit different. Um, however, I don't want it to be a conventional Ironman training plan. So what I don't want to do is just be going um, bike, um, run, sorry, swim, bike, run, get in the right order. I don't want to be doing those three things. So my rough plan at the moment, and this could change over the, over the months here, is I want to do one run a week, similar to what I was doing for High Rock. So I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed that tempo stuff. And I know I can run long distances. I'm, I'm good at that. I've done multiple things in the past. Um, done ultras I've done the marathon de Sabs. I've done multiple marathons um so I know I can go long but I want to be able to go long fast okay that's uh, so I'm going to keep tr trying my high rocks some of th those high rocks run sessions about an hour and 15 minutes I was traveling about anywhere between 11 and 14k depending on the session on those as well so with, with like sprint recoveries and stuff going on so one run one long zone two bike that's gonna be my, my, my key part this time and I want to spend the most time on the bike. And I'm going to do one short sort of Zwift race bike thing. So I'm going to do one long, one Zwift, and then one swim session. And so they're the three of those. After that, I want to do two classes. Um, mainly, I want to try and pick the classes a little bit towards strength, because obviously I've got my endurance uh, and my high intensity for my running for my zone two bikes. So that's the rough plan. Basically, it's going to be, give me six training sessions a week, um, which should be cool. I can sprinkle them throughout the week. And today's going to be my first one. Uh, today is going to be, um, I've got to run to the pool just because the car's getting a service. So I'm just going to head to the pool now. And I'm just going to do a 1K time trial in the pool, just to see where I'm at, see, see how I am. And then from there, I can adapt a training program. Um, I was a, a triathlon coach years ago, so I roughly know how to um, adapt a training program for that. And it's, just, you know, it's the same principles as any training program, really. Um, so... Here we go. I'm going to head to the pool now. Um, I'll hit my swim, so I can't film my swim. But I'll bang my time up and give you any thoughts I feel about swimming. Normally, my lats blow up after about two, three hundred meters. I'm in pain, like literally pain throughout my lats. And then after another hundred meters, they ease up and I can get back into a rhythm. So we'll see how we get on. First training session, road to 70.3. Also, I forgot to say, I've got a run there. I left my backpack at the gym. I've got a run in my swimmers whilst holding my goggles. <laughs> on my arm, so it's not a great start to this training session. Anyway, only up from here. <laughs> that was a good run. So run done, just over 4K. Now I love swimming pool. I forgot to mention, yeah, May, uh, Catherine's dropping off Mabel afterwards, so I'm gonna swim now. That's why I don't have any gear. No, Catherine's bring my towel, so I do actually have a shower and wash afterwards. So, swim by myself, get out, meet Mabel, and then another hour swim with her in the little kids' pool. I'm gonna be like a prune after this. Hey, so that's the swim complete. Um, really enjoyed it. Did 1,000 meters in 18 minutes 20, um, and that's that's 150 per 100. I've got no real idea how, if that's good or not. So if anyone knows, comment in the, in the messages below. Also, I've got a little, I wear a Garmin watch, and it's giving me a S Wolf or Swolf, I guess it is, um, data of 50. I think that's how many strokes you do. I, I would imagine that's per 100 as well. Maybe that's per 50, who knows? Uh, but yeah, the number of flat is 50. So if anyone has a clue what that means, and if that's good or bad, let me know below. But yeah, good session. So that's my benchmark, so I know what a thousand time is. I can now go away, build a plan up around that. Obviously, I'd like to get that a bit quicker. I'll go and um, wreck you some times as well. Uh, what I think I should be getting swim wise. I generally swim better in a wetsuit because I, I don't have a lot of fat on my legs and they're quite skinny, dense but skinny. Uh, so they sink quite a lot and I don't really kick them. So with, with the uh, wetsuit, it kicks up my legs a little bit. I normally find it a little bit easier swimming in a wetsuit. So yeah, so good little session. I enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, full Ironman training going on. So I just did the Superhuman Games there on Saturday. 
had Sunday, Monday off just to recover and chill out. Uh, today's Tuesday, so on the barbell today. Literally zero to do with a bloody Ironman today. So I've just jumped in the class session. It was built up um, to a moderate weight of a complex of a hang power clean, low um, hang power clean, and then a front squat. And then after, after that, it was then EMOM. Each minute on the minute, you're gonna add some load. So I managed to build up to 100 kilos. I hit 100 once, and I got pushed into a squat on the, the low hang, and then I managed to hit it in the high hang. Uh, I managed to not get, get pushed into the squat, so I managed to land in the power position, which is cool. I've been moving too fast, got my foot up on the gas, full throttle till I crash. I'm back with a vengeance. You gonna see me end this, I will be ascending. I don't ever slack. I got my eyes on a prize, what I see for my life. I don't float, no, I fly, do or die. About to do the workout now, 40 minute AMRAP. Um, we're gonna go 80 kilos for this. It's 200 meter run. Come back in three front squat, no, three hang power cleans, four front squats. So yeah, just, just gonna move today, just just getting um, yeah, blood flow, get myself back up to speed. And then tomorrow's gonna be either a run or a cycle. My bike's not totally built yet, so probably gonna be a run tomorrow. Anyway, let's get off this workout, see how we get on. I'ma get it how I wanna get it, you don't get it I can do anything, I don't got a limit I'ma make my mind up, I'm committed It might take some time, might take a minute I won't give up, I don't give in a shit I do what I want, what I wanna do it Call it a power or call it a gift I call it persistence, they're driving some wit uh, I ain't no minute man Good things take time when I'm in it man Give me some time and I'm with a fam Now I'm going too far from the beginning man I can teach you but you gotta listen I got lessons, all lessons to give them Think the masters are hoping and wishing And thinking and driven and cutting the ribbons uh, And they know they don't want it more than me I work hard, they call it a disease. I work hard so I can go be free. But I hey, work great workout. So that 14 minutes, I've got eight rounds and 30 meters. So last round, I managed to run out the door and get a little bit of the way up here, which is cool. Um, really happy with that. So obviously I haven't lifted for a while. Um, so happy hitting 100 in the thing and holding on for 80. Managed to move on broken on the hang power cleans and front squats. Not front squat for, for ages either. So. I could feel like my core working, trying to keep it up. But luckily, I have my new belt, and I just check that out. Absolutely epic hybrid belt. Get after it and represent. I love the color scheme, but yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow, like I said, for either a run or a bike. We'll see how we get on. Morning, team. Wednesday, six o'clock in the morning. Hair is all over the place. Doesn't matter if I'm gonna put a hat on or a helmet on. I'm gonna go for my first bike ride of our training session on an actual road bike. Um, just got that built up. A friend of mine helped, actually a member from my gym, a husband who I used to cycle with, built it up for me. Um, and looking forward to getting out. Basically just gonna go and test it today, make sure it's all good. Um, try to go out for an hour, sort of zone two. I feel bad after the squats yesterday, <laughs> so sore. Um, so it'd be quite nice to spin the legs out, see how we go, make sure everything's working, and then I can come back and tweak and think. But if any of you guys are bike pairs, and this is a Chinese carbon, gravel frame and then from there that's what we built the rest of it up um yeah but i'll do a full bike review no doubt in george capola's cycling channel so i'll catch you guys in a bit so that's near the end of the ride just come up for one hour um went out for a zone two spin quite felt great after about 10 minutes, I had to nip back. Um, so I was running tubeless on a set of second hand, sort of older tyres that my mate lent me, and, and they just weren't working. They were spitting out all the gunk everywhere. So I had to go back. I banged some in the tubes in now. Um, so yeah, managed to get my hour done. Like I say, I'll flash it up on the screen here just to see what I sort of did on my first ride. I was really happy. It felt actually really good. The bike is actually fantastic. I won't go through the bike, maybe on a different video if you want to know, but yeah, so you can, uh, any bike pervs out there can check it out, but I'll probably jump into my friend's vlog, uh, Giorgio Capola, he does the cycling, probably meet up with him and then go, actually go over the bike with him in detail, but yeah, beautiful ride, really good to be out and about, loving it. The only problem is I need to do about three times the distance I've just done today in a race environment and then run half a marathon. So anyway, we'll catch you in a bit. Uh, welcome back guys, another day, another training session. It's Thursday now. Uh, I did my bike ride yesterday, really enjoyed that. It was great being out on the bike. Um, 
like I said, I've not really been on a road bike for about seven years now. You can see it's absolutely scorcher of a day here again. Um, so I've just coached the first two sessions. I'm going to jump into and do the class workout by myself now, just in open gym. Really cool, sort of suits me today. It's going to be 30 minutes long. It's an EMOM fashion, so each minute on the minute, we've got some work to do. We're going to do 10 bench. I'm going to try and go 80 kilos today. My bench isn't very strong at the moment, so I'd be, I'd be really happy if I can get that each round. Uh, from there, it's then into max toes of bar. That's actually the score of today's workout. From there, we've got five to eight reps of a, of a sandbag squat clean, which I've never done before. I normally do sandbag cleans, or we've done sandbag front squats, but combining the two, we've never done before. And then finally, 200 meter run, next minute is a minute rest. So we'll get after it, see how we get on today's session. Like I say, looking forward to training and getting this done. So best friends got each other's back. We used to cruise around with a base to the mass. Everyone at school while I was in the lab. Cooking up some beats that would turn into tracks. High school chilling, I was on a mission. I had bigger dreams of being a musician. Teachers always talked, but I couldn't seem to listen. I lived in a fantasy land, they called it fiction. But I was gonna be big one day Playing shows on the road to a sold out stage Nobody really cared or believed I would make it Anywhere close I would fail in fate But that's cool, I love that Cause any little doubt gives me energy back And now, I'm in a place where I'm glad I never gave up on the dreams I had And big dreams lead to big Oh wow, that was good 30 minutes done now uh, Like I predicted, the bench got heavy I was actually on the last set I think I did seven, rest two, rest one. Uh, so I couldn't do 10, I'm broken at the end. But I sort of knew that going into it. D balls, just did five reps each round. The rep scheme was between five and eight. So did five each round, felt okay. I'd take like four seconds breath in between to reset the body. And then toes to bar, managed 20 each round. Every round I did the same, went 12, rest four, rest four. Uh, so I managed to get that in. So yeah, 120 toes to bar there. And they felt quite good as well, considering not really done too much gymnastics recently. But yeah. Uh, good sesh, get myself prepped. I'm not sure if we're going to take a rest day tomorrow or Saturday. We'll see what goes on with, with life and stuff. Uh, so Mabel's, Mabel's birthday, you might have seen a little clip of it. Yeah, Mabel's birthday weekend, so we'll see what goes on. But been a good week so far. I'd like to get swimming between now and the end of the week. But I'll see you in the next session. What is going on, team? Just finished my swims. That's my second swim of the um, this program. It was cool, actually, really enjoyed it. I did a 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, and I took two minutes off, then 90 seconds, then one minute, then 30 seconds off in between sets. And I was just trying to uh, find out my um, sort of average speed, see what I can hold. Um, and I think last time I said it, I had a uh, 150 per 100, and this time it was more like a 200, uh, two minutes, so God knows what happened there, unless I got my data wrong last time. It feels like I was working just as hard. However, I did do that big toaster bar work yesterday, I had 120 toaster bar and sets of 20 in, so, uh, I actually felt my triceps more than my lats. I thought I was gonna feel my lats today. So I'm not, not sure what happened. Um, good session though. I was in the water for about 40 minutes. So just building up that time in the water, which is, which is cool. But yeah, can't complain, enjoyed it. Another session ticked off and on the road to the half Ironman. Look forward to it. Good morning, Different, slightly different location. We're uh, motorhoming at uh, the New Forest, Catherine's dad's down so we had a couple of days down here which is really cool um so saturday just gonna go for a run 45 minutes zone two nice chilled out it's beautiful around here like you can just point in any direction and go so yeah just set the watch on now 45 minutes let's get this done that was so good literally rolled out of bed slid on a pair of trainers open the door and off I went um, and you're into this like I said you can just pretty much there's so many different campsites here park up anywhere and you're going to be in the woods within a couple of steps which is absolutely glorious uh, to get out and about first thing in the morning but yeah 20 minutes in pool's good going up here on talking I'm probably going to get pushed out of zone 2 in a minute but yeah I say nice just base run today so my bikes and run are just going to be based for the next couple of weeks, just trying to build up a bit of mileage on both. And then from there, later on, so I think with three months out, I'll start whacking intensity. I was actually super sore this week from all the CrossFit I did, um, which was quite a nice feeling. But yeah, enjoyed his zone two runs, enjoyed his zone. I have to walk. Uh, the bike for me is just building up a bit of time on the bike. Obviously not ridden any distance for a long time. Runs are okay for me from the high rocks train, but yeah, it was good. It is so cool here, anyway. That's going to be the end. 
after this run, that'll be my first sort of polarized training for uh, Ironman uh, done. CrossFit, running, swimming, biking, trying to squeeze it all into a week's quite hard, but I really enjoyed it. We'll see how we get on with it. Hopefully, I can perform on Ironman day come September. That was great. Run done. Back home now. We're going to be get get ourselves sorted here for another night. So I'm going to chill out today. Go down to the little river. Then maybe I'll have a little swim around. And yeah, that's what a uh, training on the road consists of for us. Captain joined me for the first two miles and then um, stayed by the van, did some uh, dumbbell work. Whilst the in-laws looked after Mabel, which is always nice. Uh, so yeah, yeah, zone two run done. I'll flash up the times here on the screen just so you can see the sort of pace and stuff I was running uh, and the elevations. A little bit hilly, but nothing too crazy. Um, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Uh, if you did, please consider liking and subscribing and we'll catch you for week two. Perfect.